Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. I'm Hester. Do you remember a few weeks ago when I relaunched the website, I did a video saying I'll be really good from now on, I post a new craft video every week, and I'm gonna make sure I've got a backlog of videos, so every week I've got something new to show you. Well, I'm lacking you already. I am so sorry, but I'm completely snowed under with deadlines, and today I'm so busy making projects for an upcoming Money Makes thing I'm doing, just really don't have time to do a video for you. I'm so sorry, but I thought this might be a good time to show you one of my favorite crafts from last year. Hey, I'm Hester, and this is Handmade Home, the channel for easy and budget-friendly house updates. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can make a denim cushion with a really nice pom-pom trim. As you can see, these old seating cushions can do with a bit of a makeover as the fabrics got very stained from uh, being outdoors. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make a cover and we're gonna have a nice pom-pom trim on the edge. First, you need to see how much fabric you need. You're gonna measure the width of your cushion plus the thickness and the length of your cushion plus the thickness. For me, that's 50 by 50 centimeters. So we're gonna cut one piece of denim 50 by 50 centimeters. So here you have my 50 by 50 centimeter piece of denim. And for the back of the cushion, we're going to cut two pieces. They're going to be the same length, so 50 centimeters. Only the width is going to be half of this one plus 5 centimeters. So it's 50 by 30 centimeters. And when you have the two pieces together, you see there's a nice overlap. So the cushion can slide in once it's all sewn together. Start by folding over one centimeter on one of the sides on the back pieces. This is so you have a nice clean edge for when the fold is going to be later. We're going to pin it in place and then we're going to stitch it just on the edge here. Get your front piece of denim, that's the big piece, and your pom-pom trim and line the pom-pom trim on the edge of the denim and pin in place. Once you pin it all the way around the cushion, we're going to stitch it in place just on the edge here. Make sure the pom-poms face inwards. I'm opting for a bit more fun and I'm going to do a two-toned pom-pom trim. So one side I did with the orange pom pom trim and here I'm going to continue with the pink one because why use one colour when you can use two? So now your pom pom trim is attached in place what you're going to do is with the fabric facing up and the pom poms all facing inwards you're going to put one of the back pieces on top right side going down and you're going to make sure they line up nicely and you're going to pin the sides, the back and this side and as you can see where you made the seam is in the middle now. And you're gonna do the same on the other side. So get your back piece, that the side is not seamed, line up to the side, pin in place, and as you can see, you have a nice little overlap now on this side. And we're gonna stitch it close, and we're gonna use the line you made when stitching on the pom-poms as a guide to stitch it close. So once you stitch all around the edges and the cushion is closed, comes the fun part, you get the turner the right way round. Make sure you push the corners out nicely. And your cover is ready to be stuffed. Do you see how easy it is to insert your cushion because of this slit? Once you know how to make cushion covers out of new denim, you can also use old pieces of jeans to make cushion covers, like I did on this one. You just piece together old pieces of jeans until you have panels that are big enough for your cushion covers. So I made one panel 50 by 50 centimeters, and here are the two panels 50 by 30 centimeters, and I used the waistband to use as an overlap. So sorry it was a rerun this week guys, but hey, you never know, you might have missed this video when it was previously posted last year. And I really do love these cushions. I love the jeans and the pom-pom and the other trim. They just add a bit of flair to your outside space. I use them on a bench, but you can easily use them as floor cushions as well. And next week I'll try and be back with a new video. Well, I'm not really good to keep my promises, but I really, 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 really will try to get your new video here on Handmade Home. But in the meantime, have a look on my website, hestershandmadehome.com, for more craft ideas for your home. And I hope to see you next week.